Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Naya and in today's video I want to talk about something that not so many people actually probably no one talks about in the law of assumption community in the manifestation community call it law of attraction I don't like to call it law of attraction but you do you it does not matter it's the law okay and it's the blank state now I think I am the one creating this terminology, the blank state, but I'm not definitely the, the, the only one that ever talked about it. Neville Goddard talked about it. Uh, Frederick E. Dodson talked about it. And so many other people, I think even Joseph Murphy, Joe Dispenza, so, so many people. It's just that I like to call it the blank state. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers on my new channel. I am super excited. I love this channel because I can share my experiences and thank you so so much for sticking around and subscribe to my channel for patreon and more videos and everything that i give as services including tarot reading that are a mix between a tarot reading and law of assumption uh, the links are all down below with my etsy shop you know but today let's dive deep into the blank state what do i mean by the blank state now many people and correctly they complain about the fact either that they don't get the desire or let's say talking about an SP, but it does not apply only to SP. It could literally apply also to money or success. They complain about the fact that they do all these techniques or they manifest some movement or they even manifest exactly what they wanted, but then it doesn't harden in the fact. Why is that? And then it comes down to the loop of the self-concept, which I made previous videos about. The issue is, guys, is that your hologram, your personal hologram, it's not only created by your self-concept, which is the concept uh, that you have of yourself. Your hologram, your personal reality is created by your self-concept and the memories that you hold. So what does it mean exactly that your personal reality is created by memories and self-concept? How can we reduce that to one simple word? It is identity. It is what you identify with. Many people like to emphasize belief, but belief are part of what makes your identity. Self-concept is what makes your identity your memories, your experiences of the past, everything that you have experienced is part of who you identify as with. I identify with a woman, I identify with a YouTuber, I identify I've been there and there. Yesterday, I've done this, I have these emotions, I have this trauma. It's all about personality at the end of the day or better identity. So your personality, your identity creates your personal reality. So what happens is, is that many people enter the law of assumption community or manifestation in general because they have a desire which is totally human desire implies that you don't have what you want so there you go you are starting to be desperate you lost the person that hold on a second sorry uh, you received a message uh, you uh, lost the person that you loved you are trying to see all this video and you started the manifestation process and most likely you get some movement or even if you don't get some you read all those success stories and you don't understand why it doesn't work out for you or why you have soft hot and cold behavior or not so many movement or not exactly what you want make it out however it, it is for you and the issue is correctly people say because you didn't change your self-concept yet so you go and uh, you know look at self-concept affirmation you try to understand how to harden in the facts the reality that you want basically you want to shift completely to the reality of your dreams right the issue is if you only concentrate on i mean it can work but in my humble opinion and this is only my opinion you do not have to take it as an assumption if it doesn't work for you so just chill hear me out don't you know just these are thoughts this is only my experience but in my opinion when you just focus on some aspects of your self-concept let's say i'm beautiful i'm this and that i am chosen but you still like your identity your memories are in the same place what is going to happen is that eventually your personal identity is going to create the same personal reality or is going to take a longer time for your ego because when you are affirming consciously you are in the neurocortex of your head this is very simple you're only thinking consciously when you're thinking consciously yes it does create indeed you should keep your mental diet you should do your affirmation so i'm not saying you shouldn't do it hear me out but when you are creating only from over here here, 
you're not really entering the 95% of your thoughts, especially if you are from 30 to 35, where those thoughts are really dominant in your subconscious mind, neurologically speaking, you are only affecting reality on a 5%. You have to go deep into your subconscious mind to change the program. And in order to change the program, yes, you can only do it with affirmation if you decide to, because the repetition of affirmation will eventually stick into your subconscious mind and therefore create a change in the program. However, it might, it might, doesn't have to, but for some people who have dominant resisting thoughts, it might be more complex or simply it might take a longer time. That is my experience. So I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does work. If it worked for you instantly, if you believe that if you just affirm and it works for you instantly, stick with that belief. Don't change it because I'm saying something different. I'm addressing this video as entertainment, as um, creating new topics for the community and just to share my experience and what I've learned so far. So so if you have an assumption that works for you and you are manifesting out of thin air, instantly keep that and, th and that's it. But if you're not, try to listen to this as well. So what happens is it just takes a longer time. It takes a longer time because basically you're trying to affect your subconscious mind with only 5% of your conscious mind. And so you're resisting, you're fighting against something that is dominant in you because it, it's holded by your identity. You identify with those trauma. You identify with that story with your SP. You identify with who you are as a person. And no matter sometimes how much you do, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm a goddess, Still, sometimes there is a little bit of resistance because you're doing it from your present identity. If you really want to play magic, and I've made a video on this about manifest the impossible into reality, you have to shift reality. You have to shift your mind, your identity completely. You don't have to focus on anything, on things, and Neville says this, um, on anything outside of you. You have to create a state in your head that is a blank state. Why is that? What is the blank state? A blank state is pretty much, have you ever been in a situation where you have gambled or you have played a sport or you have done something for the first time, like even playing Monopoly or something like that? People just show you the rules. They just explain you how it works and you just win and you're lucky at that. And people say, oh, it's beginner's luck. It's not beginner's luck. It's the blank state. You have learned something from scratch that it's new. You have little to no resistance to that thing. Your mind is very suggestible. And so you believed immediately that you were going to win because you understood all the rules and you won. That's the blank state. So sometimes when we know so much about the law of assumption and we gather all of this information, they just become philosophies in our head. But then we apply them, we see some results, but they don't harden in the fact because we are coming from our old identity. But and this, I'm going to make a different video on how to not engage with the 3D with the same technique. If you can revert back to pure consciousness, to a blank state in your head and create from that blank state of changed identity, of pure consciousness, I'm going to explain uh, briefly how to do it and what I mean by that, you will manifest instantly. You will manifest a lot faster because personally, I am so sick of hearing it's going to manifest whenever it is. Yes, sure, it is going to manifest whenever it is, but there is an easy way. Like there is a way that is effortless, is fast, get Im almost immediate results or very soon results because it's all made up by your identity anyway. So so let's see, let's say that we would take a child and this child is very small, like from one to eight years old, they are in their theta state and alpha state. They are very suggestible. And we train them from year one to year eight in the law of assumption. And we tell them, you don't have to do anything to get what you want. You just have to believe it. We do all of this. And the child believes it because he's taking and absorbing everything in a subconscious mind that is completely open. That child will have no resistance to manifest their dreams whatsoever. Ever. The younger you are and you do this, the less resistance you probably have made because there is less memories. It's when we are 35 or from 30 to 35 that our personality becomes very dominant, how our identities become very dominant. And so we have to really enter the subconscious mind. However, you could have trauma in your younger years. And so that becomes an identity as well. 
it, it depends. It really depends. There is not one way fits at all. However, the one way fits at all, it's no matter who you are, no matter what experience you had, no matter what story you had, no matter what your desire is, no matter if you perceive it as impossible, if you perceive it as hard, if you could just go back to a blank state. Okay. You have all this information about the law of assumption, erase them from your head and just go inside a blank state where you're like, I am going to assume that this thing is mine and I'm not going to identify anymore with the person that I used to be in my past, with the person that I had those thoughts, that had those feelings, that had those trauma. I decide right now that I am my new self. And you say this every day and you go on about your days and you're like, I'm not anymore that person. I'm not anymore that person. I do different things. I am that girl. I sleep on, on a different side of bed. I think in a different way. I have it. What I saw in my imagination has already happened. I already have it. And you don't expect anything. You don't check the 3D. You Because when you have something, you don't need to search for it. You don't need to do anything to get it. You have it. If you can revert yourself back, to a blank state and from that blank state make your new assumption because you are making a legit claim of a new identity right now think about children they can become whatever they want they can feel that they are pirates in the Caribbeans and second after they are back to their old self that's the same thing and that's because they're in theta state they can see imagination much more vividly than adults can do if you can do that you will become unstoppable in your manifestation. You will manifest from thin hair because every single time that you revert back to a blank state of pure consciousness, you are God. You are everything. And because you are everything, you can identify with everything. And when you identify with everything, there is no difference between you and your desires. You have them in the now, in the present moment. So what exactly, let's go deeper a little bit on the subject on how to do it. There are many, many ways to do it. My personal easier way to do it is to simply go on a little meditation. It doesn't have to take a huge effort. Actually, it should not take any effort. You close your eyes, you focus on your breath, and you observe your thoughts. You will have thoughts. Your head is going to spin super fast. What if you're, you're doing? This is bullshit. This is not going to work. And what about my ESP? And I want to think about my ESP. I want to think about money. And I don't have... You see all these thoughts. All these thoughts will just boom, 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 ramble in your head. Yeah. You keep focusing on the breath. You keep focusing on the breath. And like clouds, you observe your thoughts moving into your head. You don't resist them. You don't engage with them. You see them, you accept them, and like clouds, they're, they're off they go. And they come and they're off they go. They come and they're off they go. And you become the observer of these thoughts. And then while you focus on your breath, you start seeing blackness around you. The blackness of why you close your eyes. You, you focus more on, your, on the blackness. You focus more on the blackness. You focus more on the blackness. You become nobody, no one. You're nowhere. You don't have to think about anything. You're no one. And ask yourself, who are you? Who are you? If you're not your mind, you're not your body. The, all that you see is blackness. How deep is this blackness? How vast is the blackness of space? You are no one, nowhere. You're nobody. Who are you? The only thing that will come up in your head most likely is I am. I am, I just am, I am pure consciousness. That is the blank state. When you are in that I am presence, when you are in this blank state, you have canceled all your identities. In that blank state, you can see yourself as you are. So see yourself looking at the mirror, see yourself as a third person. Who are you? Who is the person that you're interpreting in this reality? I am, let's say I'm Mia, I'm a YouTuber, I have these thoughts, I wake up in the morning, I do this. See yourself doing all these activities. What are the sensations? What are your desires? What are the feelings that you have? What are your beliefs that don't serve you perhaps? How they make you feel? See yourself. And while you see yourself in this blank state, you see yourself as a third person. Tell yourself, you serve me so well. I love you so much. I only have unconditional love for you and what you taught me so far. But now I am deciding to let you go because I want to create a new self. And it's time that 
I just remove you from my existence. I release you to my subconscious mind and say goodbye to your old self. Then revert back to your old uh, blackness. Sorry, to the blackness. Once you've done that, you say goodbye, see yourself fading into the blackness and then go back. I am no one. I'm nobody. I am nowhere. Nothingness, blackness only around you. Go back to that. I am present. And in that I am present, claim who you want to be. Now that you have released your old self, who are you right now? Let's say I'm a goddess. I am beautiful. I am chosen. I am the love of my SP. I got the money. I am wealthy. And what the, see yourself in third person, like an actor, see yourself. What are you doing? What are your thoughts? Now, how do you feel living from that end of having everything that you want? Create from that blank state and then wake up and act. Act meaning don't do anything to force the 3D. Don't expect anything, but in your head, and that's where you can do the affirmation. Your mental diet is essential right now because right now you made a clear statement from your I am presence. You said, I'm no longer the old person. I am this new person. Now the mental diet is what is going to sustain your state of consciousness. Now, Hear me out. If you have really assumed that you are that goddess, that you are whatever dibidabida, if you really have assumed this, you will naturally feel not the urge to desire or to affirm all day. You won't feel the urge to do it because you have assumed it already. It's already your present reality. But you will keep those state and you will keep that mental diet in order to make sure that you're keeping yourself in the loop. You go on about your day. You will become that person that has already what she wants, what he wants. And when you create from the blank state of zeroing your identity and creating a new identity, you're shifting reality so quickly that you won't even like, it will be so quickly for you to experience your desire that you will be like, I, I don't know what happened. I'm not anymore that person. This thing has happened. I'm literally in a different reality. So yes, you can do all the affirmations that you want. Yes, I am suggesting you to keep the mental diet. I am not necessarily disagreeing with all these coaches. I am saying there is a faster way. There is a better way. It is the recognition that you're God, but it's not an intellectual recognition that you're God. It's not regurgitating information about the law of assumption and knowing that they are true because you heard success story. It is about experiencing the I am presence that all these mistakes I've talked about from your pure state of consciousness. And from that blank state, you claim with an assumption who you are. And because you claimed it, you don't doubt it. You don't deny it. You live it every single day without even looking for it. It is already a fact. And every single time, and I will make a different video about this, that you will see something that you don't like perhaps. I don't think it will happen with this technique, but let's say for instance, it might happen or you feel you want to react to the 3D, whatever, you know, you can just don't engage with the 3D. Don't, don't you know, don't say an opposite affirmation because saying an opposite affirmation is still affirming it. Don't, don't do anything. If you see something that you don't like, you take a step back, revert back to the pure state, that blank state, wake up knowing that your assumption is already true. You will not react. You will automatically feel you don't need to do anything because of that step of not engaging with, the, with, the, with you, what you don't want and literally shifting your, your attention to pure consciousness. When you are no one, when you step into the unknown of pure consciousness, you are entering the quantum field. You are entering a field of infinite possibilities where everything can be experienced in the now. So every single time you revert back, you become God. And if you're God, you can have anything that you want. And I promise you, this is my promise. If you do this, it will manifest rapidly. It will manifest even if you just affirm, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just being out there putting some new stuff for you guys because I experimented it and I, and I know it works. I, I know, I know this. This is how, in my opinion, you effectively shift reality. 
okay? I hope this video makes sense. I will probably reiterate this a little bit on my Patreon for you guys and to share also my personal experience with this. And yeah, see you very soon on with another video. And thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys.